Hello there, this is Joe Reinhardt and this demo is actually from my Cisco CCNA voice training course. What we want to look at is call routing. You can see there's quite a few choices here. When we go to the router hunt, notice we've got route group, route list, and route pattern just as we've been talking about. So one thing I want to do is start with the route group because remember route group points to gateways. We want to see if we have any configured. We obviously do not. So let's configure a route group. So we want to just, we'll call this default route group. As much as possible, it makes a lot of sense to be able to name these by function. And we'll just do top down for the distribution algorithm. And let's add the, the gateway. And this is the gateway that's actually pointing out to our PS, simulated PSTN. And that's pretty much all there is to creating a route group. Very simple or straightforward. Now if we went back to our listing, notice default route group is selected. Now let's create a route list. Remember a route list is an ordered list of route groups. We're just going to be doing one entry, but again, there's nothing here. So let's add, create a new one. So we'll call it default communications manager group. Again, this is just going to be default. Save the default list. And we want to be able to look at different route groups, which we've already been able to configure. Just notice default route group. A lot of different things that we could indicate here. So now this default route group is listed. Now that we've done the route group and the route list, now we go to the route pattern. Remember the route pattern is where you actually put in the different elements of the dial plan. And there's probably not going to be anything here. And no surprise. So we can do 911, we talked about before, default route partition, gateway or route list, default route list. And we can just save this. Now we want to add another one. 9.911. Remember, everything that's on this side of the dot will be discarded. And default route list. Save. And basically, what it was saying in that previous screen is you can have forced authentication codes for dialing out. And since we're not really doing anything of significance, I just left it as it is. Let's add one more. We'll add one more route pattern. Nine dot area code, exchange, and number. May have added one too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is what you want for 10 digit dialing. Now we can save it. Oh, yes. See, you get warnings if you're not configuring everything correctly. Default route list. And then we can save this. One of the ways you can check the validity of your dial plan is actually to use, and we'll talk about this a little bit later when we talk about reports, but the route plan report will actually spell out all of what's involved and has been programmed in from a route plan. Notice here you've got directory numbers that have been configured already for a couple of the phones in the system. But notice you have the 9.911, and then the others. They're defined as the route patterns. Notice it shows they're pointing to a route list, a route group, and then a route gateway in hierarchical order. We had more patterns in here, you'd be able to see that. But this is a quick way to be able to show all of what's involved. And here it's actually showing that individual IP phones 
that are already a part of the system and all of what's actually configured on this. So these are just some ways to be able to show how your dial plan has been configured and some ways to be able to verify all of the connectivity and functionality that you want in it. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training, please visit www.trainsignal.com.